Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the filament runout recovery process for a 3D printer, specifically the Snapmaker 2.0. We have the A350 edition, uh, and if you're wondering, no, these are not real glasses. I do need real glasses, but these are just the blue light filtering glasses to stop me from getting so much eye strain from watching so much YouTube. Anyways, let's roll the intro and we'll show you the clip of the filament runout recovery process from last week. Okay, so I uh, came down here a little bit ago and uh, I noticed that the 3D printer actually wasn't printing anything. I looked over and saw that it was out and now we have a filament runout recovery process. So we're going to see what happens whenever that happens and all that stuff. So here's our filament uh, spool. It is currently empty as you can see. Hopefully I have one extra black P uh, PLA here. So I assume I'm going to go ahead and just pop that up there. We're going to go ahead and hit ready to load. I'm going to pop this in here and then hit load. And it's kind of just spewing out right now. And it is catching. I'm not moving my hand. It's kind of just pulling it down. Um, and it is going. Now I'm going to grab. I like to keep things a little clean, so I'm going to go ahead with the tweezers and just take that off of there. And then down here, there's a button that says continue. We're going to go ahead and press that, and hopefully, the Snapmaker will just continue on its own. And hopefully, everything will stick together. Unable to resume the job. Uh-oh. Get resume. Oh, now it's going again. Take that off of there. Okay, well it's going back down to continue the print. That's okay. Okay. And it is, uh, it's back running again. So we're gonna go ahead and let it run and finish up the print. Okay, so we've got our little battery holder here. Uh, if you look in the light, you can kind of see the line, I think, where it uh, stopped and then had to reprint. And also there's a, thing, a small part in here where it had a little bit too much of a PLA come out at the very beginning. But if we go ahead and peel this guy off of here. Boom, comes right off. And overall, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's solidified on here pretty nicely. It looks like it fused together very, very well. Uh, overall, not bad, not bad. Okay, so here is the 3D print that we made during that filament runout recovery process video. Um, so far, it looks like it adhered to the layer below it perfectly fine. I don't really see a layer even when I'm looking for it. It's very, very smooth. And if you got this as like a product or as a gift, I don't think you would ever know that anything was wrong and that it ran out of filament at all. Um, in terms of strength, of course, this isn't like a thing that I'm going to be like, you know, testing and trying to, you know, break or something like that. So I don't really know how it would fare against that. If you're interested in that, leave a comment down below and maybe we can check that out in a future video. But in terms of finishing the 3D print that you've started, I think it did really good. So I don't think you should ever be worried about your 3D print being wasted after all the hours of it starting to 3D print and it runs out and you're like, shoot, don't worry about it. Just replace the PLA and I think you should be totally fine and you should be able to finish your print 
absolutely without trouble. Uh, it did have the nozzle still at 200 degrees Celsius and it had kept the bed at 50 degrees Celsius for over five, six hours. Like imagine like a freeze frame of like a video. That's what it did for like 3D printing. It kept everything the same. It kept everything normal, just like how it would be 3D printing normally, except it just was on pause. I'll do some math over here so you, you can see uh, the different times for whenever we change stuff. But overall, it was like five, six hours of it waiting for the PLA to get reinserted. And even after all that time, it still went through and it still made great like adhesion to the layer below it. And I think it did really, really good. So am I gonna worry next time that my filament gets a little low? Of course, you should always probably change your, film, your filament. That way it always prints on like, you know, one solid thing. But I think if it ever runs out again, I'm not gonna be worried. I'm just gonna go, oh shoot, let's change it. And then continue the print. That way, if you're printing something, you know, you're already 15 or so hours in, and you're like, oh man, I don't want to waste that time and ruin all that. I don't think you should have a problem and I think you should be totally good. Now, I do have one thing. Uh, since we did wait like five hours and everything, uh, we didn't really know that anything had happened to it. And I was thinking, Snapmaker, if you ever have need like a product in the future, if you had like an app or something like that that we could link our Snapmakers to and it could send out like a push alert saying, hey, I'm out of filament, uh, would you be able to come, you know, refill me with filament or whatever? you say hey I'm out of filament you know come refill it uh, that way mainly for people that want to not waste their time I don't think it's an issue with it re-adhering and you know continuing a 3d print I think it's just for time and everything but I think that'd be a great idea and I think people would really like it if you had an app that could tell them and you can also do other things like monitor it maybe you can monitor the progress of the 3d print from somewhere else and make sure that you know everything is running smooth or something like that anyways just an idea so other than that thank you guys very much for watching if you aren't already consider subscribing if you enjoy the video do hit like maybe share it with a friend and other than that just comment how your day was down below and i'll see you guys next time see ya